Wow, look at this evolutionary carousel. Animals and plants fighting for survival throughout the history of the Earth are like participants in an eternal action movie. They do not give up and tirelessly adapt to changing conditions. And the first spark of life was lit as much as four billion years ago. It's like an old movie where the main character is the first living cell, the common ancestor of all organisms. And you understand, all these billions of years were spent growing from the simplest cell into complex creatures. Who would have thought that the first great conquerors of the planet were plants? They provided shelter and protection for invertebrates and created ideal conditions for their existence. Such cooperation, just like superheroes and their faithful assistants. But like every good comic, no one can dominate forever. Evolution never sleeps. And now a new dynasty of animals appears. People from an aquatic environment. Amphibians. Amphibians came with completely different anatomy. And it seems these creatures are just beginning their exciting journey. but we are sure that there is still a lot of room for new adventures and unexpected turns on this historical map of the world. Wow, let's dive into this amazing story. Amphibians. These daredevils climbed onto land, but are still chained to the water. Hmm. Sounds like trying to shave your head, but leave your temples on. But that's not the point. So they, the reptiles, went and conquered the driest lands, walking widely across the planet. These are like heroes of an extreme journey, boldly conquering everything around them. And then, Bam, a dynasty appeared, which fascinates with its diversity. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs ruled the planet for 150 million years. Enchanting domination. But the fate of these poor fellows was spoiled by misfortune. After the departure of the dinosaurs, the last great generation came. Mammals. And one of them, man, changed our planet like no other. The rise and fall of these dynasties over four billion years is not just fate. It's like the plot of a grandiose TV series with unpredictable twists. It is important to remember the main rule of life. Survival of the fittest, like caterpillars that turn into butterflies. Butterflies are simply better at adapting to their environment. Wow! Caterpillars simply make a cool glow nest in the world of evolution. But plants are not far behind. A variety of herbs, bushes, trees, leaves also fight for their place in the sun in this forest. To survive their life, plants must be on alert, otherwise the caterpillars will eat every last green twig. Clever guys, these plants. 
Everything here is pure survival. It's all what you don't eat. You'll sleep through. One plant has developed its own nuclear survival plan, poison in its leaves. This is such a chemical arsenal that all pests tremble from it. But then he appeared a new species of caterpillars that are not afraid of poison. These caterpillars mercilessly eat plants and also eat leaves with eggs of other caterpillars. But other butterflies came up with a cunning plan. The flying beauties began to lay eggs on leaves where there were no caterpillars yet. It's like giving future offspring VIP seats in the restaurant of life. But the plants did not remain in debt. The plants grew growths on their leaves that looked like butterfly eggs. Such tricks scare off female butterflies and force them to look for other places. In addition, these growths secrete sweet nectar, which attracts ants. And the ants, in turn, arrange a caterpillar feast. This is the cycle of life where everyone tries to survive and deceive others. Well, competition is the engine of progress, even if it means having real dances and territorial fights like our friends for Rocco's. But sometimes even the toughest guys can't cope with uninvited guests. Especially if they are in the form of a group of hungry Smilodin. This is how the four Rocco's become extinct. The cruel Smilodin did their job. Apparently, there is not enough humor in this story. But what can you do? Life isn't always a joke. Competition between species and genera has always been like the eternal rival in the reality show Evolution. And here is the third rule of life. There is never peace on our land. The planet can drown its inhabitants with floods or burn with volcanoes. Sometimes it helps life, and sometimes it just ruins your mood. Volcanoes. These giant fountains of lava and ash have always been an important movement on the planet. Eruptions that lasted hundreds of years repeatedly covered our land with fiery dust. The atmosphere was filled with gases, the climate changed. And in the worst cases, nature presented unpleasant surprises in the form of mass extinctions. Our world is like a double whammy the planet can drown and then burn. The sudden changes created such barriers to life that the seas became toxic and the wastelands became endless. Sometimes the rains were so long that it was possible to open an open-air water park. Well, our planet turns out to be as cruel as Chef Gordon Ramsay. But actually, there was a period when we had a lull, like in the movie Mad Max, Fury Road. This was the era of dinosaurs, and there were no disasters for a long time. 100 million years of continuous peace. And so the dinosaurs, those giants with teeth, took advantage of this time to reproduce like rabbits on steroids. The herds of herbivores were so huge that you could have a picnic for the entire planet. Mayosaurs. These harmless herbivores simply traveled in droves, like at a rock concert. 
They were so numerous that they did not even have time to count how many individuals there were. In short, dinosaurs were at the peak of their power. This was their blue ribbon in the animal world. Tyrannosaurus is a super predator. A scary creature with teeth. The female Tyrannosaurus was even more dangerous. She, along with two kids, ran after prey faster than light. What a family show! Oh, these babies! They were so cute until they decided to help mom hunt for prey. The Triceratops thought they could fight off the kids but the mother Tyrannosaurus ruined their mood. T-Rex's mom was an armored tank with a belly. It was more difficult to get rid of her than to deal with technical support. And then a herd of Triceratops appeared, ready to help a friend in trouble. Everyone became a wall of horns and strong armor. Even the most powerful predator realized that she had lost. Yet, when you are surrounded by friendly colleagues, even the toughest evil creature loses its power. But, as they say, all good things come to an end. Once upon a time, an asteroid the size of Everest fell on Earth. And it was a direct blow to the very heart of our planet. The crater is 12 and a half miles deep and 112 miles wide. Wow, a victory bowl. This was the beginning of the end. The asteroid led to a series of catastrophic events. A wall of ash and debris rose like a giant fog and enveloped the entire globe. And here comes the damn thing. The sunlight disappeared like makeup after rain. And almost all the dinosaurs died. Hmm, it's not an easy life. But you know what? There is always hope. From that huge crater where the asteroid hit, death itself rose. But it's okay. We will all get through this. After all, even after the darkest day, a new dawn comes. And our dinosaur friends will live in our hearts and in children's books. It was clear as daylight that everything around was destroyed. It was the fifth global mass extinction. But, oddly enough, some guys managed to survive on this planet. They were so cool that all the major species of animals that we now know evolved from them. Imagine, birds are our dear surviving dinosaurs. Here they are, soaring into the sky and leaving their huge traces in history. And today, their descendants, more than 10,000 different species, populate every corner of our beautiful planet. But not only birds were able to survive this hell, Another great dynasty has risen mammals. They, too, have been reborn from the ashes and are ready to conquer the world with their strength, cuteness, and intelligence. These are the wonderfully diverse survivors we have. Friends, imagine. Dinosaurs ruled our planet. 
and mammals hid somewhere in the corner of history, watching how Tyrannosaurus cut through the jungle. But, gentlemen, everything changed when an asteroid appeared on the horizon. Bam! And here they are, our mammalian friends, crawling around the corner and shouting, Hey, dinosaurs, your time has passed. Now it's our turn. The fall of the asteroid gave them a wonderful gift. The ashes of the disaster on which they could build their mammalian empires. So, after this global extinction, our world has become a real treasure trove of animal diversity. All these mammals have created such a diversity of species that it is dizzying. They are so tough that they simply jump from challenge to challenge, be it protection, raising offspring, finding food or reproducing. They know how things are done. And although the cast of main characters has changed, the basic principles have remained unchanged. Water and solar energy continue to create the conditions for life, as they did billions of years ago. And even today the rules of the game have not changed. Only the fittest can survive. Competition is the engine of progress, friends. Dramatic changes on the planet only add to the chaos and trigger new chapters in the never-ending evolutionary saga. Believe me, all the current inhabitants of our planet can trace their roots back as much as 4 billion years ago. And this, admit it, despite all the meager chances of survival. 99% of the species that ever existed simply disappeared, leaving us with only 1% of the total animal diversity. Well, friends, shall we cherish and appreciate this amazing 1% that we inherited? After all, it is our responsibility to preserve this wonderful world and pass it on to future generations. Friends, get ready to learn the most interesting details about what was happening in the depths of the seas and oceans from the very beginning of life on Earth.